Okay, time to fight the big bug bitch. <laughs> Greetings, Lightners, and welcome back to Rolfe Place Cult of the Lamb. Last episode, we got through yet another one of Shimura's trials. This episode, we have one last trial to deal with when it comes to Shimura, and then we are ready to go. Basically, that means we, we, we fight her. We fight Spider Beach. We take her out. We continue forward. And we kick some major butt. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick these berries and stuff real quick. Make some food for the cult for when they wake up. Does one got a star on it? He's gonna pick all this stuff that my cultists have grown in the garden, which was very generous of them. They've done a very good job of things, I must say. They've done a very good job of tending to the crops. Okay, just gotta keep picking away. Alrighty, almost done. Certainly need developed quite a few land plots. I mean, it's not much, but it's humble, you know? It's a humble little farm. Okay, more of those. And... Good! Alright, let's make some good meals. Okay. Perfect. Four delicious meals. Oh, frick. Okay. Well, two delicious meals, because I burnt two of them. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Well, it should satiate them for a hot minute. Anything, uh... Yeah, no, these two should do for now. Alright, real quick. Just gonna do a sermon. Real fast, just so I can make sure that's settled before I go on my next expedition. Hopefully a successful venture. Gather up all their devotion, all of the devotive energy that they have, so that way we can do things effectively. Any rituals I can perform? Let's see. Hmm. One fire for faith. Hmm. You know what? Let's give you guys a break. You've been through a lot. Let us recognize time of rest and relaxation. You guys can take a break. Let your cult leader handle things for now. So now they can rest and relax and take things easy. And I am going to go into the silk cradle while they take a break. Oh, hello, Ignis. Patyar is a spy sent by an enemy cult. Let's speak with them and see what they have to say for themselves. Patyar, huh? Where are you, Patyar? Oh, you over here. Excuse me. Huh. They don't seem to be a spy. <laughs> Obviously hiding something. Mm. I'll keep my eyes open, but they just seem like they're being nice. Alright. Let's do this! Silk Cradle! Here's hoping I can survive. I would like to be able to get another success, like, right after the last one. Because if we do this, then that's all four bishops, and at that point I have no idea what comes next. So, yeah. But then there was that other mysterious moon-looking thing as well. Like, what was that all about? I'm kind of curious about that. Anyways, the room should be ready to go in a matter of three, two, one. I was kind of joking with... Oh, hello. Five becomes... Becomes... Nothing, nothing at all. The duty I owe my brethren cannot be shirked. My temple awaits. Oh, Shimura has made a presence known. Oh, gauntlets, gauntlets. Okay, just because the resummon fee is freaking ridiculous. 
50 coins for a resummon? Nah, not in this economy. Just got to be on the evasive this time around. I got a heart already? What the flip? Well, if I lose a heart of health, I know what I'm, where I'm grabbing it. Well, I lost some health, and there's a half heart there. I grabbed the whole one. I didn't see the half one. Well, that was a mistake. Hopefully I'll get that friggin' ice thing that I got last episode. That helped a lot. These tentacles are great. Like they they hit a light, nice wide area, nice AOE area of effect. Let me go grab that heart real quick, cause I know I left it behind. And all that fervor. I'm shocked I left that behind. Well, at least I grabbed it now. Got the bones. Now then, let's move forward. Another one of these big guys. Joy, I love fighting them. They're so much fun. Oh, I hate gauntlet runs. Gauntlet runs have been not been my friend lately. Usually they end in disaster because they're not very like they're they're great for certain things. Like, don't get me wrong, gauntlets are fast. But apart from that, they ain't got much use. What's over here? Two tarot cards! Okay! A rare one! Increases curse attack damage by... Nice. Attack rate... Okay! I'm not gonna complain about any one of those! Now I can attack fast, which means that means... Oh, yes, 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 yes! This is something I can work with. Faster attack rate means speedy, speed weapons like this are just hyper -quick. I definitely need that one freaking uh, relic. This is the one that freezes. Then I can really hit hard. Man, the game has gifted me some. And more to. What? Okay. Let's draw cards. Whoa! Two rare ones. Uh. Definitely taking that one. I'll make an offering. Screw it. I feel lucky. Okay. Fully when entering a new combat room. Or consumes less. Yeah, I'll take the host one. That one just sounds useful. And I've got an overall attack increase plus a speed attack increase. Lucky as hell. I really could use some health right about now. Like, genuinely, I would like a heal up. Please. At least now these claws hit harder. That's a plus. This is going to be my favorite. Increase in size. No thanks! Okay, I got a spider lantern thing. Cool. More decorations! I mean, it's nice to have a collection of stuff. Okay, so we got a follower on this path. Health is down that way. Right, let's go to the left. The left leads to health, which I will desperately need at this point. Okay, so... Follower form... Yeah, follower. Oh, it's a bug of some kind. I like it. Thank you! Okay, up we go. Next on the list, I think, is a relic? Let's see. Yeah, it's a relic. We got... Oh, the t oh the lightning tooth! Definitely glad I got that one. It's not the light. It's not the freezy one. It's not the freezy one. But I'll take it because the lightning one is actually pretty damn useful too. And extra damage of any capacity right now when I'm about to fight the fourth final bishop, I'll take. That shit's useful, dude. All right, let's do this shit. Yeah, see? That lightning strike thing? Pretty damn useful! Oh, and I got a heart. Holly freaking Luya! Holly freaking Luya! I got a heart of health! Hallelujah! Yeah, that curse hits harder. 
I love it. Alright. I do wish said curse was a little easier to use, though. Like, I love that it hits in four directions, but I wish I had something a little bit more potent, I guess. Hey, what the 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 the? Definitely gonna need healing. Of which, I got a blue heart. Not complaining about that. Ugh. Come on, baby. This goat needs a new robe. Wow. That dude in the white robe went down quickly when I used the curse. Maybe it's weak to curses? That makes sense. Do I go down or do I go to the left? Let's go down. Let's see what's on the lower path. Let us find out. Lightning! Can that attack is useful. These eye things are freaky looking. They're just a leafy lantern. Got a lantern with leaves. Yeah, and a grass, no less. And another chance at a tarot card. So I guess this was the best the best path traveled. Okay, let's draw. Arachnid, I'm sorry, poison damage on top of everything else that I have is yes. Just I'll take that. The poison damage, especially against Shimura, might help out a lot. So I'm taking all the advantages I can. Well, speaking of which I envy you not. While you may yet kill me, still I would not trade places. It is time to draw this ugly business to close. He waits at the point of the sharpened blade, the fate that cannot be outrun. He waits in the eye of the raging storm at the end of the long day done. Yeah, bring on your hordes. I'm ready. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Got you, little freaks. Oh, I'm gonna kill you all dead. I hate these bugs. I hate this entire level. This whole thing is such a pain in the ass. Well, that took care of them. And I got a blue heart back. That's lucky. Alright. Compared to the last room, that was just dirt easy. Alright. Oh, what do we got? What's this? What's what, what, what's 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 the duty? Ooh. I'll take this one. Solely because it has a freeze effect. And that could actually be very useful. Alright, let's get the health. Let's get the health. Because we're gonna need it! We're definitely gonna need it. Alright, heal. Oh, ho, ho. yes, indeed. Okay, so we've got health again. Now it's time to go through the final trials of Shomora. This is these last ten rooms. And then, it's go time. I'm still gonna steal the devotion off this thing, because screw it. Now, hopefully the freeze effect thing on this sword will help out immensely. It certainly hits hard. And it definitely does make them freeze for a hot minute. Okay. I'm letting these guys come to me. Screw it. I'm not dealing with this the rotating thing that always seems to hit me. Do that. Let's go up. Up we go. Literally. We're going to the upper path. Freeze, suckers. At least one of them dead. Gotcha. Suck on that, you ugly, creepy crawlies. Alright. On to the next room. So far, it's just a bomb cultist and a scythe cultist, so nothing worse. So probably when I kill them, two bugs are gonna drop right out of the- there you go. They didn't even wait! 
They didn't even wait for the enemies to be dead. They just dropped down like, screw you, you're taking too long. Bastards. Alright. So far, so good. Eat my sword! A vice! It seems to do double damage when you get it on the line. It's my fervor increases, like, like, restores every time I enter a room. So, that's the worst thing. Okay, it's a weapon shop. Oh, what do you got for me? Bane hammer. Zealous gauntlet. Yeah, I'll take the increased gauntlets. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. Alright. Any more rooms I gotta get through? Freeze, sucker. My greatest summoner. Take out the summoner first. If not, you're just gonna have a rough time of things. Another freaking. What is with me getting piles of stuff? Or torches, or things like that. A lot of decorative crap. Alright. Are we done yet? No, we're not. Another room. At least compared to the other ones, this one's kind of easy. It was very easy. Cleansing fire. Nope, 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 nope. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Time to fight the big bug bitch. Seal's broken. Let's just do this. Let's take out Shimura. Hopefully. I've got four hearts. I've got good, decent tarot cards. I've got the lightning bolt thingy. Hopefully this will be the successful one where I just beat the hell out of this thing on the first try. He of havoc, he of blight, she of hunger, they of night. Five becomes four becomes three becomes two becomes one becomes nothing. Oh, this is gonna get ugly. This is gonna get real ugly. Yep, it's ugly, all right. Shamora. Lightning bolts. Okay, not too bad. It's just a bunch of bombs at the moment. Okay, he's probably gonna do like a. Oh, that's sneaky. Okay, whoa, this is gonna be tough. Oh, I definitely am not a fan of your shit. She's fast, too. That's the problem I have. She's quick. She's got quick reflexes. I'll give her that. Whoa! This is a tough one. Okay. Why do they all get stupid projectile attacks? Why do they get that? Like, seriously, why do they all, all of these freaking bishops and crap, get like the stupidest of projectile based attacks? Oh, you are, you are not doing it. Just gonna focus and not die. Lightning bolt! <laughs> oh, yeah! That is definitely more like it. You get that heart. <sighs> First try. Holy freaking hallelujah. That took care of that. Alright. The pillar. Whatever. I'll take it. Sure. Why not? Uh, and then, and Shamora's trophy. You have the blueprints for Shamora's trophy. Cool. We, we have that now. Oh, ding dong, the bitch is dead. Whew! That was a close one. Oh, that was honestly close. Got a bonus for defeating the bishop. Great. Shamora was weak, not wise. 
Their vision was too small to contain the multitudes of one such as I. The time has come to free me. You shall have the honor of returning the Red Crown to its true bearer. I admit, you have worn it almost as well as I could have myself. Your appetite for death is something I can admire, Vessel. But the crown is mine, and none, none are worthy. None other than I. You shall lay down your life and return to me what is mine. After millennia, all may bask in my glory once more. But it cannot be done here. The final gate awaits. Hurry now. The time is at hand. So we have to return the crown. Well, that certainly sucks. I have a bad feeling about this. Something about this just rings bad news. Lamb, once slaughtered in the name of the captive god, pondered this. Whose name dost thou slaughter in the name of? I don't even know. All I know is... Them bishops fucking dead! <laughs> Sorry, I I'm not worried about all that. I I'm just glad the bishop died on the first try. It wasn't like freaking Calamar and the freaking constant freaking retries I had to do. I beat that bitch first try. That'll inspire some faith. Ugh. First off, I know we had a death, so let's uh, tend to that. Okay. I know everyone's on holiday, so I'm not worried about too much in that regard, so... Bloop! Let's go get food for the cult. Okay, so uh, let's make some grassy gruel, I suppose. It's better than zip. It's better than nothing. Luckily, I have that one grass eater trait, so that works out in my favor. It's not much, but hey, it'll do in a pinch. Alright, beds need fixing. Right. Let's clean out this freaking shit pile. Literally. Alright, at least they're eating, which is good. Okay, so let's go do the sermon real quick. Because I know that I have not done one yet. The bishops are gone. All praise be to the red crown of victory. Alright. Now we can finally do the last freaking heart thing. Resurrection. When killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. Oh, then. That's a push come to shove type thing there. Alright. That's all the crown abilities. Thank you for your patronage. Alright, so with that said, there's really not much left. So, um, tune into the finale where I return the crown. So till then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. Let me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when I am making the delivery of the red crown. Also share this video around to continue viewership and support it's greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Five Way Dragon, Bossmaker, Carmilla Son, D1414, Hitsu no Kuodento, Honor Higgins, Jesse Barbo 6, Mighty Chlorophyte, Nagi Oki, Seth Ryan Dotson, Sonic Just Rural 12, Sensor 21, Brianna Anseo, Darshawn Morris, Suzuka 6 Me Peach, Prince Spunabone, Ruby the Wolf, Sir Fox MC, William Christopher Warren, and Tim Recluse. If you'd like to support the Patreon family as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and chances to use Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. With that said, this has been Rossi, and I'll bring darkness to your light again next time. Toodaloo!